doing anything for clout. Doing anything for clout. They doing anything for clout. Doing anything for clout. They doing anything for clout. Doing anything for clout. Doing anything for clout. Hit your mouth. Get in the place. In the way. In the way. Just finishing my workout. Hold up this last little bit of this song. Waste. Waste. Money. Hold up, one second. All right, good morning. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This is the book we're going to read from the day. Once again, Warrior's Mindset. This month, which is August, let's touch on a principle. That is the principle for the month of August. And that principle is charity. Giving from your heart and giving from your soul charity and um, that's very very important to me in my life um, I just everything I, I look at everything I think about doing every time I teach a student every time I come in contact with others I just want to give and that's the same thing with my wife we just want to give you know um, you know what we get from our heart and soul, you can't put a price tag on it. It's timeless. And the wealth that it puts out and receives back from the growth of other people, I mean, you can't put a dollar sign on it. It's timeless, you know, it's infinite, you know, and that's really, really important for me to remember. That's why I continue to live by these principles and stick by these principles. You know, and I believe as we leave our legacy. To me, a legacy is making other people better than you and preparing a foundation for your kids, grandkids, so they can live and prosper and enjoy life, you know, far beyond what you can imagine and what you have experienced. Not saying that you don't have the right, not entitled to celebrate while you're here, which I think that's that old school thought where it's like when you're gone, you can get it. No, you give it your best so you can reap the benefits here and then when you transition on to back home to the creator, you also leave a foundation for your kids and their grandkids and beyond. And that's what life is all, life is all about. And with this principle, the second week of the warrior's mindset, you know, and remember the warrior's mindset and what we do in the community, you know, this is the warrior's mindset is the foundation of helping us do a much better job in changing people's mindsets. And this is what it says. Second week of August, charity, giving from your heart and soul and seeing the vision through your third eye. Seeing your vision, seeing your goal, seeing the things that you have manifest through your visualization and sits there deep rooted in your heart and in your gut. You want to see it through, but you got to see it with this eye right here, the center line. The third eye goes right down and it controls everything like a merry-go-round. I learned that when I was incarcerated that I got to be able to see the world through that eye. Because sometimes these eyes get mixed up and they get confused. Got to see it through the spiritual eye for a higher purpose. We give with no motives for something in return. Because it is our duty to God. His duty to us is miracles beyond these two eyes. Every time we give, we raise up our level, our standards. We build a foundation 
improve our vision and becoming more and more of a champion in life. We all want victory and rewards, just like everyone else. Results are important at the highest level. Success is part of a natural flow. When you do the right things for the right reasons and you have the right intentions, success is natural. Yes, through hard work, commitment, goal setting, you know, and not lying, cheating, and stealing, you can avoid the shortcuts and do what's necessary to achieve a foundation based upon authentic hard work that equals great success. And when that success is built upon a foundation like that, guess what? It's hard to break. That's what we stand on. I believe that's what I stand on today because of the 12 principles of you know, recovery and spirituality and growth. I stand on the foundation as long as I continue to work it each and every day, read, study, and do what's necessary. Guess what? I'm gonna to continue to grow. As long as I don't stop believing the hype, yes, things be, continue to be great. I believe I'm a student in life, you know, that's it. When success comes as well as when success passes, we must still maintain our connection to the joy from within because things outside don't make us happy. It's the truth and awareness of the things on the inside, the good, the bad, the indifference, the shortcomings and the character defects. When we learn to acknowledge those things and stay true to those things, we learn to use those things as tools and lessons to empower other people, the next generation. And that's so, un so important. You know, we strive for spiritual perfection, but we'll never be perfect we will make progress along the way. And the truth of the matter is that's one of the reasons why, you know, I've been getting up. But we've been doing other things because we got camp and I haven't been working out regularly. But, you know, just because I realize as I get older and I'm just, I say as we get wiser, 57 years old, who would ever think I would be this? I never thought that I would be 57, but, you know, I didn't think I was gonna make it past 19. But to be 57, to see my kids, see my wife, see the community and see the impact and even see the things that we have going on, it makes me continue to focus even more on being consciously aware of what I put in my life and creating boundaries. It's an interesting thing um, that I was reading in one of my books today, and I don't want to quote it wrong, but it was just something about the, the spiritual fight with God is a specific word. I think it said Israel. If I can't, you know, I was meaning to bring that book here, but it was just, it was powerful. It was just another thing. It's like when we create boundaries, boundaries to protect us so we can serve and do what we need to do, you know, because in order to keep what we have, we have to give it away. But you got to create boundaries. And it was saying just in that book that I was reading about boundaries, just like how God is in that fight. What is God is there? You know, we are express as long as we stay true and live, you know, within the image of God and express all what we do through the image of God, you know, because we know that that spirit is what created us, and created us and put us on this earth. We, you know, we can keep on pushing forward, but it's a fight. You got to build the boundary so you can protect yourself, but you also, you can protect your family. You can protect your community. You can protect those who are striving to do their very best, especially the next generation. And that's so important. So I'm striving to just, as I get older, to continue to understand that the real fight, it starts from within. It starts with you allowing stress, people crossing your boundaries, anxiety, you know, frustration, other people di dictating your, your success and telling you what you have to do and making you feel like you're less than. All those things are so important. People talking and trying to tell you what you know in your soul and in your heart that is not that way and it should be their way. You know, you gotta, to me, I just gotta avoid those things. I asked an older man yesterday, about 70 some years old. <clears throat> I said, what happens when you get older? How do you do it? He said, we learn to begin to pick our fights and realize that every fight is not worth fighting. Our inner peace is more important than anything else. So I hope everybody have a great day, a blessed day, a wonderful day. Once again, this month is about charity. It's about giving and serving, you know, and doing God's work. That's how we demonstrate his work. So I end in a prayer. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, 
Encourage to change things we can in the wisdom to know our difference. Everybody be blessed.